Welcome to the Cell-Cell Communication in Development module. In this talk, we're going to learn about epithelial mesenchymal transition. We're first going to look at the differences between epithelial and mesenchymal cells, and then define the process of epithelial mesenchymal transition, followed by the steps involved in epithelial mesenchymal transition. Many different processes affect embryogenesis, and morphogenesis is the process that causes the organism to develop its shapes. For morphogenesis to occur, the cells of the embryo have to undergo different changes. But for that, let's first look at what are the different types of cells in an embryo. There are two main cell types in an embryo, and the first one are the epithelial cells. The epithelial cells are cells that are tightly connected and can form structures like sheets or tubes. The second type of cell that's normally found in an embryo are the mesenchymal cells. Mesenchymal cells are not connected to each other, or if they are, they are loosely connected to one another. Now what should be remembered is that epithelial cells can become mesenchymal cells through a process called as epithelial mesenchymal transition. Similarly, mesenchymal cells can become epithelial cells through a process called as mesenchymal epithelial transition. During the process of epithelial mesenchymal transition, there is an orderly series of events whereby an epithelial cell is transformed into a mesenchymal cell. Now in the case of epithelial mesenchymal transition, in the figure that is shown below, we have a polarized stationary epithelial cell which interacts with the basal lamina and through the process of epithelial mesenchymal transition, it forms a migratory mesenchymal cell that can now migrate and invade into different places of the developing organism to form organs and other structures. Right. So the first step normally is the secretion of paracrine factors that are sensed by the target cells. So the target cell, which is the middle cell in the diagram, which is shown in the blue box, basically is going to bind to the paracrine factors that are present in the environment through its receptors and you're going to have a series of signal transduction events occur. The result of these events is that these target cells start down regulating the cell adhesion protein which are the cadherins. And since the down regulation of cadherin expression occurs, this cell that is shown in the middle is not going to lose its attachments that it has with its neighboring cells. The target cells also release the attachment that they have with the basal lamina that is shown basically in the long blue box that we can see in two panels. So the proteins that are involved in interacting with the basal lamina are also downregulated in the cell that is undergoing the epithelial mesenchymal transition. Finally, there is rearrangement of the cytoskeleton, and this allows the cell to detach itself completely from the epithelial cells and start invading into the underneath layer. This mesenchymal cell will now secrete a new extracellular matrix molecule that is characteristic of the mesenchymal cells. And this way, an epithelial cell can be converted into a mesenchymal cell through the epithelial mesenchymal transition process. When we look at the example of EMT in development, in this figure, we're looking at a chick embryo. And in the case of the chick embryo, the cells in the epithelial layer undergo EMT to form the mesenchymal cells. So when we look at the figure, the short gray rod-like structures are the epithelial cells. And some of these epithelial cells that are shown in the blue box are going to undergo the epithelial mesenchymal transition and they go and migrate towards the lower part of the epithelial cells to form the mesenchymal cells. And these mesenchymal cells will then further develop to form the mesoderm. 
Thus, the epithelial mesenchymal transition is a very important process. With this, we come to the end of our talk where we learned about the differences between epithelial and mesenchymal cells and the process of epithelial mesenchymal transition.